Whoa, 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 what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Shay. So it's Mr. And uh, right now I'm watching Black Lightning, Season 1, Episode 10, Sins of the Father, Book of Redemption. We just saw fucking Anissa and her father tear shit up. Alright? We saw him go through that in that damn place and wreck shit. It's the same, and I like the thing about it, I came in just at the right time because I came in right where the trailer was. They posted, I believe, a few days ago or last week, and uh, it was pretty damn. It's pretty dope to see that happen. So, if you guys don't recall, you know they're still trying to clear Black Lightning's name. This has been the whole means of it since I believe episode, I'll say six, seven, four, five, six, seven, and uh, she's like, like, like I said before, you know things are getting lit. You know things are getting very, very difficult for Jefferson because as of late, because he found out that. Gamby, in fact, new information on how Alvin Jefferson passed away. That's Jefferson's father. I, I, I apologize if I pronounce his, his name wrong or got it wrong. But Gamby pretty much withhold, withheld information on uh, Jeff, Mr. Jefferson's death that obviously made Jefferson not like Gamby anymore. In fact, Gamby's not even his damn name. That's just that's just a covert name. His real name was Mr. Esp his Peter Espinoza. And, uh... Yeah, so, in other words, but you, know, but you know, in other words, you know, Anissa, you know, her her bad, her suits be getting more badass by the day, you know, she's, she's using her powers a lot more, she's getting more fluid in her use of her powers, which is always great. So, you know, I, I'm really liking this episode, I really like the series, and I'm glad, you know, people, people are getting more, getting more and more into liking it as well. So Anissa tried to get Jefferson to understand, listen, Gammy was just doing what he could, you know, he was very naive when he was working for the ASA, you know, gathering kids up, you know, for the vaccine, you know, in Friedland 30 years ago. But he's, you know, Anissa said, but look at that, he tried to do what he can, you know, he saved a life all these years. You know, he wants to help you, you know that. And he said, look, I can't help well work with Gammy anymore, you know, so definitely a big strain on their, their part. Which is really sad for me to see because they were really close like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, like another father and son kind of bond. But, you know, obviously, Gamby's trying to make things right, you know, and do what he has to do. And now we see a guy coming into the Jefferson's house. Looks like a concerned parent, actually. His daughter or somebody is supposed to be dealing drugs and selling it. I think it's at least I think it was one of the students. He was wearing the most ugly ass uniforms that y'all got y'all wearing. He said, okay, for that. after the girl took the green light, looks like she caught on fire for a second. Alright, so pretty much I think more and more residents are becoming more and more aware of the effects of green light and what it can do for people. In other words, this is pretty much a cesspool for meta humans. This is what Freeland looks like to me now. Because it looks like, and I like how it kind of touches on Static Shock's origin story a little bit. You know, in, in terms of, you know, all these kids, you know, getting obtaining all these powers due to, like, some gas or something of that nature. I really like how they, like, touch on that a little bit. Isn't that guy in the, wait, isn't that guy in The Walking Dead? The guy in the blonde hair? Man, I, man, people really do get around. That's dope, though. Now we see Octavius talking to somebody. Excuse me. Must be some other higher up in, in Friedland. Yeah, so he said, now that I'm saying, what's up with Black Lightning? He disappears, you defeat him, he disappears, and he comes back. Feels like a setup. He's like, this isn't a setup. That's a lot of pride to be filled by the commission. And dude pushing towards some money. All right, with with black lighting out there, they don't want to the big the big timers don't want to risk their production and distribution being you know thwarted in any way, which is why they're really hesitant. You know, dealing with Octavius, 
you know, and allowing him to, you know, sell and distribute green light and things of that nature. I must say, man, Lady Eve and LaWanda, you know, they really were have a good team together. They, they work together really well. Or I should say it's Lady Eve in the spirit, in the body, um, spiritually, uh, from a spiritual standpoint, speaking through LaWanda to Octavius. All right, looks like they've reached a deal, you know, to distribute green light throughout Freedman somehow. These are getting interesting. So Jen and this are going at it because, you know, Jen wants to reject the fact that she has powers. You know, and this is kind of like, like, listen, this is a gift. Uh, you know, you're rejecting something that you don't even understand yet, you know. And that's only because, you know, Jennifer, of course, wants to be a normal person. She doesn't want to be looked at as a freak or be associated with any any of that stuff, which is understandable. At the same time, you know, Nissa is right. You know, this is a gift that she has. She can use this for the greater good. You know, even though Jennifer doesn't want to be a hero, she doesn't necessarily even have to be a vigilante or a hero, if you will. And you, you can just have these, you, can, you know, you can just have these powers, you know, use them whenever you feel like it and go from there. Okay, so pain makes, or emotion, makes Jennifer's powers ignite. And I guess this was, I guess Jennifer was the one that the guy was, that came, that came to uh, Jefferson's place. I think that was, I think Jennifer is the one that he's talking about. Yo, this is dope. But you know, I think you need, you know, sister and brother and sister moments like that. You know, bring something out of them. You know what I mean? And I think Anissa did just that. And I think she accomplished what she was there to do. Now, I don't, I don't think her intention was to argue with her sister. But, you know, in doing so, and saying that one little, saying those those words to her, brought out her powers. And now she can eventually learn how to understand her powers and control them. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so we're back. So right now, Lynn and Jefferson have her talk, are having a talk at her laugh. Lynn's like, listen, you need to go talk to Gamby. Jefferson's like, I don't, listen, Jefferson's like, listen, I don't really want to because, you know, the man pretty much withheld this information from you all these years, 30 years, and right now he's just not in my best interest to go talk to him or see him. See through people's clothes. <laughs> All right, so Jefferson just told Lynn about his electrical electrical vision that can be helping that can be helped him, you know, understand and create through his mechanism. She's like, she's like, are you undressing me with your eyes, Jefferson Pierce? She's like, stop it! I can see you. And it's that's, that's a, I love seeing that little fun moments between Jefferson and Lynn like that. You know, after she's been the voice of reason. Oh, Peter, I need you to come with us. Oh, it's so now Peter's strapped. Look out the window. We will get start shooting. But I think you were killing some of your fellow agents instead of seeing those people hurt. So now the ASA knows that Gamby's been pretty much helping the Pierces and any or anyone else in their situation. And who and who can blame him, honestly? I would. I wouldn't. You know, I would I would help people. I wouldn't blame him for it. You know, he's he's a, he's a human being at the end of the day. That's what it's all about. But you know, once you you know make those contractual obligations, you know people people remember that shit. You know people don't people don't forget that. So Gamby surrenders, and uh, they take him. 
Now, possibly they could kill him, but then again, I think within that mirror that we saw as it panned, as the scene panned out, I think he had like a camera installed into that mirror. So then hopefully maybe Jefferson or Anissa can help track him down. So Jefferson comes to the scene and every said Anissa tells him tell me what happened. And now Jennifer's embarrassed by it because again, she doesn't want to be a vigilante. She doesn't want to have these powers. Bronze, you'll be able to live a life that you want. This is me. We're going to make sure that you live the life that you want. So pretty much, Jefferson's, you know, reassuring Jennifer that, listen, even though you have these powers, we're going to make sure, me and Nissa and your mother are going to make sure you have the life that you want. Because, you know, you don't, because you, like I said, you know, Jennifer doesn't have to be a hero. She doesn't have to be a vigilante. You know, she never did from the start, you know, and, and I always, and like this, like everybody else, I thought she did just to be just out of the fact because she didn't want to have that social stigma painted on her as a vigilante, just like black lightning and things of that nature. So for that, I feel for her. I really do. And Jennifer just asked her, like, how do you use the bathroom? Now, now Black Lion's interrogating somebody, I think, as uh, his snitch, if you will. Yep, it is. I'm sorry, Black Lightning, but you worked a lot of money. So pretty much everybody's trying to kill Black Lightning for it, for the for the bounty. And that's really messed up. And that woman is literally in her damn gown trying to throw a damn fucking air conditioner at, at the man while he's talking to his, his informant. Sorry, Black Lightning, but you were, you worked a lot of damn money. That is some fucked up shit. And she messed with the damn microwave. Stop trying, lady. Damn. I mentioned that she even said, I got bills to pay, too. You know, gas, <laughs> electric, my car note. Are you serious, lady? Like, come on. Alright, so guys, here we are. We're back. And, uh, Black Lightning, he's, you know, he's scoping out of place. But his electric vision is, is messing up for some reason. The frequency is messing it up. Strange. Oh, you know, it's probably because it, you know they're, they're torturing Gandhi. We know you broke into our fist, so you can find our test subjects. It's strange because Black Lightning Exchange shows up the same day. My reasonable explanation is that you told Black Lightning about what we're really doing. You. You know how to contact Black Lightning. I don't. And why don't I believe that? Because you're an ass. Now I think now I think with Jefferson's goggles messing up, this is what's gonna actually kind of bait him to save Gamby's life, despite how he feels about him. Oh great! Now they're gonna waterboard him. It's crazy. Now little kids are literally selling green light. I'm like, bro, what the hell? You gotta stop it, Bill. For real. Yeah, I can see. Look, 
look like the diagram streets. Again, spin your way back there. Oh my great, you gotta come up with a solution. You know, this is see this is what we need right here, son. Like we need a guy like Jefferson Pierce. <laughs> you know, just you need we I'm sorry, need, I mean we need more guys like Jefferson Pierce. Set them straight, bro. Set them straight. So at 10 o'clock tomorrow, signs up. If you sign to them, you try to get your grades back up. In case you change your mind. I hope you got to them, honestly, I do. You know, the thing is, like, he, this director said, you know what I find so confusing, Gamby, is that you couldn't stay, you couldn't stand a stomach in anymore, but yeah, you stay in here. Man, sitting here is betrayed us. Now, why is that? Serious, as tough as he is. Ask Mr. Pierce if he'd like to join us. Ah, crap. So now they're going to go see Jefferson and bring his family there. Ah, see, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. I just knew, it. but you know, it's such a, it's gonna be such a touching reunion because now they're finally to resolve their issues. You know what I mean? All right, Charles, we're back. So right now, Jefferson. I mean, I'm sorry. Je Jennifer just got done taking an MRI. You know, Lynn's now, she's scanning Anissa, her other daughter. So it looks like Anissa, for the most part, is normal. We're just tripping Lynn all the way out. Oh, wait, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, no, it's like that, that's still Jennifer. So, Jen, this is like, wait, did the other kids look like this? And then Lynn's like, no, no, one, no, no other kid looked like this. According to this MRI, Jennifer is a generator of heat, pure energy, pure energy. Wow, that's cool. Now we see Jefferson, you know, he's waiting for the kid Blake to show up, but he's probably not. But I think at this time, he's actually going to go. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, it looks like he's about to go to see what's up with Gamby now. Oh, no, wait, the kid shows up. Okay, so what Jefferson is, what Jefferson's telling Blake is like, listen, if you keep repeating something over and over again, and I believe this to be an action or saying, it becomes reality. I want you to read out loud this whole mantra.
So Blake likes the mantra, so that's a good thing. I mean, this is really dope to see this right here. This two have a nice little talk so far. But I think he's going to have to cut it short to save Gamby's life, though. Because I think his family is going to get abducted somehow, or maybe even Jefferson himself. Who knows? Get right back with you guys. Alright, so now the guy's just approach Jefferson. He's like, alright, if you want to see Peter Gamby again, you got to come with us. So Jefferson says, says alright, look, I'll be right back. Gamby's right there on the gloom, the floor, just motionless. Gamby didn't tell us anything. Even though he had a reason to. It's like a semi. It's either him or the other. That's why he did this. One, two. He hit the lights, literally. <laughs> Enough of that. All right, so Gamby says, "Listen, the ASA doesn't know about this place. Only Jefferson and his family knows, and he's sorry about everything. And the ASA are going to try to do what they did before once again." He said, "Listen, man, you're in danger." And Jefferson's like, "Well, I, I know I can handle it." Okay, so Gamby just gave Jefferson a big tip. If you can find the guy that, that's been tracking down all the different kids that have sources of green light within them, you're going to find the rest of the kids. Alright, so Octavius is running things back once more. Nothing new. Uh, you know that rah rah. So, dude, dude tells though, Octavius, listen, man, when, I, when Tobias comes back, you'll be dealt with. a cap in your ass. Do it. The gun's not even working. Allow me. he was dead or did you bring him back to life you know shit wasn't on fire I didn't so now Odessa and Jennifer and Lynn return home So they take him back to Jefferson's childhood home. Because you know they're they say you're after them. Why don't you just sell it? Keep saving. It's 
Dose is older than I am. This is where they had no work. Bones got like a lot of memories. They all get comfortable. Now we see a girl in the test tube. Wait, so Tobias' sister never died? What the hell's going on? Where do I, I think it's like, I'm, maybe, okay, I'm, okay, I'm, I gotta put my head together here. Maybe Tobias' sister is looking for a vessel so that she can stay alive. No, 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 wait, that's, that's, that's not Tobias, that, that's the assistant principal. The assistant principal's in on this shit? What the hell? So that's how they've been getting on these damn kids, because of her. It all makes sense now. 